Hello there, this is a tutorial for the procedural matrix code. As you can see here, we have the matrix code and the titles on top. So if we select the matrix code, here you see what happens. This is the, the little uh, geometry nodes tree. Uh, if we go into it, here you see it falling. The animation is running. If we stop it for a second, you can see it clearly. So make two cameras, a perspective and a front camera. And if we go into the parameters, you can see what uh, is changeable. Here we have the code density. So you can scale that up to get more code. We can put that back to 150. It's what we had before. You have the random depth amount. This determines how much depth there is or how many of the lines will go into depth. So if we make it less, you see that it all falls down to one plane. And if we make it more, or all of it, they will all distrib distribute. And this way you get more depth when you have a perspective camera or one of the cameras. Some of the code is more close by and the other co code is more far away so when you have a like depth of field you get more effect we also have the line length here you can see we can change it for the lines to be shorter or we can make them longer like command z to go back and we have the white length we can also make like the tips the tips of the code are white we can extend it or we can Completely remove it. If you go too low, it will disappear. All lines. What we also have is here that you can uh, determine which symbols you want to use. Here we have also a checkbox to scale them instead of fading them out. We're also fading them out. You can also scale them in, with a gradient so they become smaller. If we play this one. You see that they disappear over time. A little bit of a different effect, but uh, it looks also cool. Matrix-like. So if we uncheck this, the regular matrix code. We can also change the colors here. So we have blue matrix code, or red, or whatever you want. We also have the tip color, so you can also change that to maybe make it kind of uh, darker theme maybe bloody matrix code falling pretty cool so if we go back to white uh, this is the matrix code that's falling but we also have a title here we can just type whatever we want matrix code like hello this font uh, is using the matrix font which uh, also uh, is in the package and like you can only type with uh, capitals then you get text if you don't type with capitals hello then you get like the matrix code symbols so you can also import your own uh, uh, font to have it also not only capitals but this is in the matrix font so that's why i use this and you see a little bit like the uh, matrix lines that you also have in the movie. Uh, we have like the text copy, so you can make more layers. That is more visible if we go into the perspective. Here you see the amount of copies. If we go into this, and we make more copies. You see that it fills it out a lot more. Go back to three. You can also like. Uh, condense them a bit more which could be nicer if you have a perspective view like this for example you put it at point one and maybe the subtitle also at point one it's more readable from the side and of course you have the text size the character spacing and the word spacing so this is a fairly basic, but uh, it's nice also this as an overlay to make some kind of movie titles. So 
that is the matrix code generator with geometry nodes here we can see the nodes are made into one node group the title and here this is the one you can use in your own geometry so i hope this is useful and uh, see you in the next one